And we are underway at Allegiant Stadium. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And some room to work. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's O'Connell. Flush to his right. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. Jacob's going to try the middle. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Flushed out right. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. A big gain of 28 as the drive continues. I know that rookie quarterbacks have to earn veteran receivers' trust. Maybe we saw that on that play with that type of effort, huh? Yeah, helping out the rook with a heck of a catch. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now it's O'Connell. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Jackson now to return. And the Bills are going to get the football here as they force the INT on the game's opening drive. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. They had three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Allen going to try and throw on third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be out of bounds near the 30. In fact, right on the 30. Allen and Knox teaming up there for Buffalo first down. After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go three and out. They're able to avoid that there. Yeah, we talk about complementary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover, gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them, to show respect to them. Hey, you guys got us a turnover? <laughs> we appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. So the completion good for just three. At its second down. Again, they'll throw with Aleph. Setting up the screen for Cook. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. First down, here's the run with Cook. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. That time, a little misdirection really seemed to fool the defense. And think of it this way. From the time you're in high school, you're taught to watch film and pick up tendencies. 
Sometimes they can use those against you, though, when they break their own tendencies and hit you back the opposite direction, huh? They run again on first down. Cook, no, oh, bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. And fortunately, the Bills jump on it and get it back. We're scoreless after one. The Bills with the football as we start quarter number two. As they've got it with a second and 13 forthcoming. Allen's throw is complete. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that'll lead here to a third down. Allen now looks to throw. Escaping the pressure right. That is caught. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. In motion left is Davis. Back to the ground, Cook. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. From the 28, it's second and five. They run the counter with Cook, and he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher, third and six. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. So they need six yards here on third down. They're two for two on third down tries so far on this drive. Eluding the pressure right. And a throw there going to be incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Still searching for that first breakthrough, and I thought this might be it. But it's not to be, and we're still scoreless. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs, and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. And O'Connell now to throw. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Terrell Bernard getting in there to drop him for a sack. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Now look at this, 4th and 12, and they're going to line up to go for it. They'll go for it. O'Connell looking deep for Adams. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And the Bills are going to take over here up near the 40. And that was a young pup, the rookie being intercepted by a veteran DB. And I loved our quick conversation in pregame with him on the field where he said, hey, look, I love playing these young quarterbacks. They don't know a whole lot yet, so I can use my mind to put me in a position to make a play. So after the INT, it's Allen. Got a man, that's Trent Sherfield. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Here's Allen on first and 10. 
A little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Allen's throw complete to Shakir. Fights him off, and he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes... You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. He's got his target. That's complete. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Here we go now on first and goal. Here's Allen. Out to the left, he's got his tight end, Knox. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Now they'll put a receiver in motion left. Cook is in. Touchdown, Bills. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. With this slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. Forced out to his left. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And he'll get this back down to about... 